High Denial 101X. I'm Sergio from Rimini, Italy. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. I live in Silicon Valley, California. I live in Canberra, Australia. I live in Mexico. I have a blog in Spain about climate change and the economy. I'm writing from outside of my cabin in Fairbanks, Alaska, U.S. I encountered uh, Denial 101 and signed up. And it has served in filling in a critical gap in my knowledge and understanding. The course content kept me glued to my computer for hours. I learned a lot more about climate science. I have a degree in science and I had studied this topic years ago and I thought I knew quite a lot about it. Um, but evidently there's, there was a lot more data in there for me, which was great. As I listened to various experts imparting a knowledge about climate models and the carbon cycle, greenhouse gases, glaciers, polar bears and fruit bats, heat waves, coral reefs and mass extinction events. I also learned about the characteristics of climate science denial and probably most importantly, how to counter them. I was really interested in doing this course because I wanted to understand how science can be communicated better. For me, the most surprising thing I learned is that it's ideology rather than ignorance that's leading to climate change denial. I was very appreciative for all of the background on the psychology behind denial and why people uh, have the beliefs that they do about the whole um, topic. I was really surprised and horrified by the treatment of our experts um, and by the way that they've been attacked by the deniers and so forth. I thought that was really shocking um, and I, I, I feel that they, they strongly need support uh, of the rest of us and um, good on them for having the courage to come forward and speak. And the part that gave me the greatest hope was the activity on debunking the myths. Also very appreciative of the chapters at the end that explained some of the best, um, most well-researched ways that we can go about debunking some of the myths that people hold about climate change. What the course offers is a, a model for correcting errors by first understanding somebody else's worldview and the story that underpins that worldview. And then rather than just attacking the errors, explaining why the errors are incorrect and offering an alternative story which replaces the incorrect information with correct scientific facts. Definitely better ability to debunk myths um, amongst people who perhaps genuinely have been misled um, by, den by deniers in the newspapers and so forth. We have to debunk their fallacies everywhere and every time. Not because we have any chance to convince them, but to convince the undecided. I'm more hopeful we can get through to those who are not deniers but who are weak in their understanding of the seriousness of the situation. And hopefully we can increase their commitment to making the changes needed before it is too late. I think I feel much more confident to be much more influential with people now. Um, when I come across people who have heard that there was a, there's been no warming for 17 years or whatever, I have a, a, a better way of um, approaching that now. When I was talking with a friend or some friend or just simply reading their status on the phone about the hot weather and what they say they said oh my god what happened to our son it's very hot here and with the course with this course denial 101 i can explain to them with correctly with clear and concise answer using fact method fallacy structure it's very useful. In my life I'll use the course um, to talk to my friends and family and to assist those who are unsure to be clearer about what's actually happening. And really set my understanding uh, and equip me to go out and try to make a difference. And as primary teacher I can teach the kids about how to care about our earth and how to deal with the people say wrong about global warming. Being a physics teacher, I brought my student many ideas I stole from this uh, wonderful course. I've been thinking about trying to incorporate some curriculum into Girls on Ice that aims at generating a more climate literate uh, upcoming generation of Alaskans.
and this course has been wonderful in giving me a lot of ideas on how I might be able to go about that. Climate change is important, appalling, and also fascinating, and this course really lit it up for me. Thank you. Many, many thanks. I've really enjoyed it, and I really hope you continue offering this because I think it's absolutely valuable resource and you've done a great job. Thank you. This has given me a lot of food for thought and I look forward to following down a path like this that might be a little bit more helpful in helping other people realize the magnitude and the reality of the climate change problem that we're facing in society. I'd urge you if you're interested in any of this, whether you're interested in the environment, uh, you don't get a lot of the discussion around climate change and you're sort of not really sure about it um, or if you're interested in how to communicate science you should head to the YouTube page um, and watch some of the videos. So thank you very much to John Cook and the rest of the Skeptical Science team. I hope you run the course again. I recommend it to anybody. Thank you, Vinayal 101.